Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to welcome Jesus who comes to us in this Eucharist. Let us humbly acknowledge our sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful and forgiving love. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May our prayer of petition rise before you, we pray, O Lord, that with purity unblemished, we, your servants, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exalt. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. 
Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong. Fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stub, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where jackals lurk will be a marsh for the reed and papyrus. A highway will be there called the Holy Way. No one unclean may pass over it, nor fools go astray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast of prey go up to be met upon it. It is for those with a journey to make, and on it the redeemed will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness, sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our God will come to save us. Our God will come to save us. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Our God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Our God will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Our God will come to save us. Please stand. The King will come, the Lord of the earth, and He Himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof 
and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God. And struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our Gospel today concluded with the people declaring, We have seen incredible things today. Nakakita kami ng mga kahangahangang bagay ngayon. And the people said this because Jesus healed the paralyzed man. But more than physical healing, Jesus did something more for the man. He also forgave his sins. And when the people saw this, when the people saw the complete holistic healing that Jesus did to the man, they were astonished and they said, We have seen incredible things today. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, we also heard promises of astonishing and incredible things that the Lord intends to do for His people. Just imagine if you are the people being addressed to by these words of the prophet. Isaiah says, The desert and the parched land will bloom with abundant flowers because there will be rivers and streams in the desert. In a dry land, there will be abundant flowers because there will be abundant water. Sa isang lugar na tuyo at patay, magkakaroon ng maraming bulaklak dahil magkakaroon ng umaapaw na tubig. The Lord even said that the eyes of the blind will be opened, the ears of the deaf will be cleared, the lame will leap, and the mute will sing. There will be gladness, there will be joy, 
sorrow and mourning will flee. And with all of this, the people will be able to say, we have seen incredible things today. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, yesterday we observed the Catholic Handicapped Day, the day of persons with disabilities. And yesterday here at the Manila Cathedral, Cardinal Advincula presided a Mass with the different communities of the PWDs in the Archdiocese of Manila. And at the conclusion of the Mass, the recessional hymn was the famous Advent song, Balang Araw. Balang Araw, ang liwanag, matatanaw ng bulag. Balang Araw, tatakbo ang pilay at lumpo. Balang araw, mumut, mamumutawi sa bibig ng mga pipi, pasasalamat at papuri. And you know, as that was being sung yesterday at the recessional of the Mass, I was moved to see blind people, deaf and mute people, lame people who are singing this song Balang araw ang bulag makakakita ang mga pipi aawit ang mga bingi makakarinig ang mga lumpo magtatatalon at magsasasayaw I have never sung the song as concretely as it was sung yesterday in the presence of real people with disabilities waiting for the astonishing things that God will do to them. My dear brothers and sisters, every day God does astonishing things in our life. Every day, God does incredible things in our life. We just have to open our eyes in order to see them. And part of our Advent journey is to open our eyes and be sensitive to the workings of God so that we will always be surprised at the astonishing, marvelous, and wonderful works God has been doing in our lives. Madalas, hindi natin nakikita ang mga ginagawa ng Diyos sa ating buhay dahil tayo'y nakapikit o dahil sa iba tayo nakatingin. Like, the scribes and the Pharisees in our gospel who chose to look for things they could criticize about than to rejoice with the man healed by Jesus. Imagine, it was a very joyful moment. A paralyzed man was healed and forgiven of his sins. While everyone was rejoicing, these people, the scribes and the Pharisees, were looking for something to accuse Jesus of. Mas pinipili nilang hanapin ang mali sa ginawa ni Jesus kaysa sa maging masaya sa pagpapagaling na ginawa ni Jesus. I am sure at the end of the day, while all the people were saying, we have seen incredible things today, the scribes and the Pharisees went to sleep, or maybe they were not able to go to sleep because they were so angry in their, in their hearts. They were so irritated at what Jesus has been doing. Hindi nakatulog sa inis hindi nakatulog sa galit nila sa mga ginagawa ni Jesus. 
My dear brothers and sisters, God does incredible things in our life every single day. We just to have to look at them, to see them, and to thank God for them. The mere fact that we are all alive this morning, this is something incredible. This is something astonishing. Have you even thanked God for waking you up today? My dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to be sensitive to how God will work in your life today and every single day so that at the end of each day we may go to sleep not frustrated and complaining but at the end of each day may we go to sleep praising God and saying I have seen incredible things today. Please stand. With all the trust of the paralytic's friends, let us pray for healing and wholeness of the peoples of the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, heal us. Lord, heal us. That the Church of God may be constantly at work carrying out Christ's saving mission through the forgiveness of sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heal, heal us. That we may be ready to forgive others realizing that this is the shared duty of all who follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heal, heal us. That those who feel paralyzed because of their sinfulness may find true spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord heal, heal us. That the sick and the handicapped may receive comfort and hope in Jesus, who suffered for us all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, heal us. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, heal us. We pray in silence for our personal petitions, we also remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May we in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed that his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Nicholas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us now pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment, receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you for joining our Mass today, you who came to the Manila Cathedral and those who are attending this Mass online. We especially greet the officers and members of the Philippine Association of Colleges and Universities Commission on Accreditation for attending our Mass this morning as part of their 32nd Annual General Assembly. We greet their chairman, Conrado uh, Inigo Jr., and all the members and officers of PAKUKOA. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong umaga and for beginning your General Assembly through this uh, Eucharistic celebration. And we join you in thanking God for the 48th founding anniversary of Pakukoa. Maraming salamat po at nawa ay maging mabunga ang inyong pagtitipon sa araw na ito at bukas. We also wish to remind you of our Masses on December 8, the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, the Patroness of the Philippines and the Patroness of the Manila Cathedral. Our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 8 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and 6 o'clock in the evening. All these Masses will be live-streamed in our Facebook page and in our YouTube channel. Nawa po ay makasama namin kayo sa pagdiriwang ng kapistahan ng ating mahal na ina. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Holy Mother of all mercy. 